We continue Rangers Live, driven by Ford. Fox Sports South had the honor of attending the Global War on Terrorism Memorial rededication on Saturday at the National Infantry Museum in Fort Benning. Thousands of veterans, active duty military, Gold Star families who have lost loved ones, Patriot Guard writers, and the public all came together to honor nearly 7,000 men and women that have lost their lives in service since 9-11. This morning we bring together not just infantrymen and not just soldiers, but a true family of all service members. So the purpose of this memorial is, is that we honor our soldiers past, present, and future. Two years ago, they put an architectural design together and it was last October that we dedicated the memorial that you see behind us. We thank you most of all for a heartfelt welcome to the Gold Star families. We are honored by your presence, and we're humbled by your resiliency and your courage. Thank you for being with us here today. When we dedicated in October, as we said, we left some panels, and we realized that we were going to have to do this, because even when we built the memorial, there were some casualties that we could not get up on in time before the event occurred. The rededication will always be close to the anniversary of the horrible and cowardly 9-11 attacks on America. We all remember where we were and what we did on 9-11. You enter the monument from either side, and on either side you have panels that depict the fact that even before 9-11, we were engaged in a global war against terrorism. Then the panel shows the maps and where our two major theaters of operations are, both Iraq and Afghanistan. In between those panels are the names of the lives of both the soldiers, sailors, airmen, and marines that have passed away since 9-11. This year, we've added 28 names to the over 6,900 that are already on the panel. This is a very proper tribute to our soldiers of all services that have served, and as importantly, their family members that continue to support us. We should never, ever forget the families that support the soldiers and service members, and never forget the service members that pay the ultimate price. Each day, America is safer from terrorism due to the courage and valor of our service members. Last year, I had just become a Gold Star spouse, so I really didn't know what to do. And coming here, I met so many other Gold Star families, and they gave me advice, you know, programs to get involved in, and people who have been in my shoes before me and been doing it for years, and to see how well they were doing it gave me strength and hope to know that I could get through it too. The grandparents will see their generation's Vietnam Wall, and the parents will see their generation's Global War on Terrorism Memorial. And the graduating soldiers and attending children will know that America cares. We have some wives that are young as 23-year-olds and granddads walking in wheelchairs that have soldiers lost as well. Uh, so it is worth every, every bit of energy to give the due respect and proper courtesy to their families. They pay so much respect and honor to our fallen soldiers and to their families. Like, they make it such a big deal to make sure that you're shown respect and that your soldier is shown respect. And then they put their names in the stone so they're forever remembered. And I just, I love that they do that because that way they're never forgotten. God bless you and God bless America. Annual rededications occur to honor those who have made the ultimate sacrifice to defend our country. To learn more about the Global War on Terrorism Memorial, visit nationalinventorymuseum.org. Freedom, no doubt, is not free. It's amazing how time flies, guys. You think about September 11 being 17 years ago, and probably one of the images that we think in baseball that really stands out is George W. Bush throwing out that first pitch at Yankee Stadium. There was no doubt he was going to throw a strike that day. No, well, I know Derek Jeter told him that he better do it from the mound because uh, he would get booed at Yankee Stadium if he did it, and so he made sure that he got on the mound on the rubber and uh, made a great pitch here, threw a perfect strike. That was beautiful, beautiful day there, beautiful thing there. Yeah, and you know, just uh, having the whole nation come together, that was really great. It was a different, different, uh, a different atmosphere after the attacks, obviously. So uh, it was great to see everybody come together and, and, and really just, you know, really just get together with everybody. And you think about it, on 9-11, everything stopped. The planes in the air, 
sports stopped, you know, for a week or so. And then when they got back at it, you were in Seattle on that Mariners team, and you guys won 116 games that year, clinched the division crown, and you were the one running around with the flag. Yeah, that was an honor for me, really. And, you know, we were the first team to clinch, and it was the first night we got back to playing baseball. So, uh, you know, we got together before the game and talked about how we were going to celebrate once we clinched, whether it was that night or any other night and we just decided hey we're going to celebrate this with you know with the fans uh we're going to do it respectfully we're not going to do what you normally do when you win a division and you know all the hoopla surrounding it so this was a, a probably the highlight of my career no question about it you've got the whole world not just baseball but the whole world really coming together after the attack so that was a really great moment for me holding that flag what did yes. it mean to you because there's so many stars in that team and you were the guy Man, I'll, I'll tell you, it was uh, it was really surreal. I mean, I, it wasn't something that was planned. Uh, we knew they were going to bring a flag out. Had no idea it was going to be as big as it was, uh, but it, it came out, and then the guys just pushed it to me and pushed me out there and just said, "Hey, go, we'll we'll follow." And so uh, it was just a, a really great experience for me. We shall never forget 9/11. Let's take a time out here as we continue Rangers Live, driven by Ford. First pitch right around the corner.